On June 12, 2006, a peaceful protest objecting to discriminatory laws against women was held in Haftatir Square in Tehran. The protest was greeted by police violence. Over 70 persons were arrested and several were charged with security crimes and tried in court. On this day, too, a booklet titled The Impact of Discriminatory Laws on the Lives of Women was distributed to the public. Following the protest, activists decided to launch a campaign that would take their demands to the grassroots. The campaign aims to collect one million signatures in support of a petition addressed to the Iranian parliament asking for the reform of laws which discriminate against women. It seeks equal rights for women in marriage and divorce an end to polygamy and temporary marriage, an increase in the age of criminal responsibility to 18, the right for women to pass on their nationality, equal DA or compensation for bodily injury or death between women and men, equal inheritance rights, reform of laws that reduce punishment for honor killings, and equal testimony rights for women among other changes. A face-to-face -face approach is used by campaign activists to promote awareness about the law and women's rights. Those who agree with the aims of the campaign can support it by signing the petition. Those who are interested in becoming more involved can join local groups. The One Million Signatures campaign, commonly referred to as the Campaign for Equality, was officially launched on the 27th of August 2006. The permit for the seminar was withdrawn and activists inaugurated their campaign on the streets. Change for Equality, the site of the campaign, was also launched on the same day. Activists in other cities have also started local websites. The experiences of activists are documented on the sites so that they can learn from one another and have a greater impact as they continue with their struggle. Training workshops in Tehran and the provinces are held for volunteers. Participants learn about the laws, face-to-face -face approaches, how to connect with the public, and safety issues. Nearly 1,000 volunteers have been trained through this effort in 15 provinces but their numbers are far greater than those officially trained and every day the support for the campaign grows. Three generations of women and men committed to equal rights for women representing all classes and backgrounds, religious and secular, young and old, are working together to create positive change. Regular meetings of campaign activists in each city are held with the aim of exchanging ideas and experiences. Public spaces have systematically been closed for campaign activists, but by relying on their innovation, they continually come up with new strategies to continue their efforts. Activists hold meetings in their homes, in their garages, and in their basements. The campaign site, Change for Equality, has been filtered nine times. Still, the campaign has managed to transform the public discourse on women's rights and turn it into a priority for the grassroots and officials alike. From the start and despite the employment of peaceful and civil means to express their demands, activists have faced pressures. They have been threatened, summoned, and arrested. 43 persons have been arrested, 15 of them for collection of signatures in support of the petition. But these women have taken the message of the campaign into the prisons and have worked to improve the conditions of female prisoners. Pressures on activists have strengthened their solidarity and the Mothers Committee has stepped up to defend the rights of imprisoned activists and to press for their release, which each time has been met with joy. Resistance and struggle has become a daily part of the lives of campaign activists. Despite these pressures, they are resolved to continue pressing for their demands and to achieve equal rights for women. Their numbers continue to grow daily, they continue to collect signatures for their petition and promote awareness, and their message of hope and change reaches new women in Iran and across the globe.